A recent new study suggests that we may have the first medicine, the first medication treatment for sleep apnea. What do the scientists do? Well, they tracked over 140 individuals with really significant sleep apnea. And sleep apnea is a breathing disorder where the airway starts to collapse. It's a very serious sleep disorder and it is highly undiagnosed. So what did the scientists do? Well, they assigned them to either a placebo group or a group that was taking a GLP-1 drug. Now you've heard of the GLP-1s. These are things like Ozempic. In this study, they were taking a different GLP-1 drug, something called tisepatide. What did the scientists discover? Well, it was quite striking. Those individuals who were taking the GLP-1 drug, the tisepatide, they had a five-fold greater reduction in the severity of their sleep apnea relative to the placebo group. And furthermore, by the end of the study, a full 50% of all of those patients taking the GLP-1 drug, the tisepatide, required no sleep apnea treatment whatsoever. That is absolutely stunning. So what's the underlying mechanism here? Well, certainly it may be indirect. These GLP-1 drugs decrease body weight and adiposity. The greater the reduction in BMI and adiposity, the greater we know from studies of dieting, the greater reduction in sleep apnea severity. That includes the mass, the size of the soft pellet in the back of the throat. But the research has also suggested or hinted that these GLP-1 drugs may have a direct mechanism through changes in respiratory control. So what is the take home message here? Well, I think it suggests that in addition to things like a CPAP machine, which is a continuous positive airway machine, or these mandibular devices, that medication in combination with those or medication alone may help in the treatment of sleep apnea.